What's going on everyone? It's RJ and Alex here from Backyard Sprouts. And in today's video, we are gonna talk about organic certifications and your options out there. Coming up next. certified and obviously the one we're familiar with which most people are is organic USDA organic certification and in the process of starting to research how you get certified I realized that it was going to cost a lot of money uh, it basically can run from you know high hundreds of dollars to thousands of dollars and average when I was researching for vegetable kind of producers I was looking at a couple grand around almost five to be exact is kind of what I was seeing we just couldn't afford that off the bat right it's just not feasible for new farmers it wasn't an investment that we felt like we could really make up front because it would have been coming straight out of our money into the business so we started researching other ways to be certified organic and that's how we found certified naturally grown also known as cng a lot you'll see and certified naturally grown actually i'll read you their description straight from their website it's very similar they say that cng farmers don't use any synthetic herbicides, pesticides, fertilizers, or genetically modified organisms. CNG livestock are raised humanely and mostly on pasture with space for freedom of movement. Feed must be grown without synthetic inputs or genetically modified seeds. So it's a very similar description, except CNG is much more affordable. Right, we're talking $200 versus $1,200 to, like Alex said, $5,000. And there's even an option on there that they are willing to work with you if you cannot afford the the 200 right from the start. So this is something that definitely uh, we gravitated towards because we read their description and what they're about, and they're they're farmers for farmers pretty much. And USDA Organic is pretty much a corporation that is a, a huge conglomerate. So when we saw that CNG is farmers for farmers and people that are doing the, the inspections are other farmers, right? So Alex will touch more into that, but pretty much what, what that means is we can get called upon within a radius uh, of where we are and we have to do an inspection for another farmer. So it's it's kind of cool how they do it. It's peer to peer. Yeah. And like I said, Alex will touch back into that a little more um, as we get, as we talk more about CNG. Yeah. So CNG is in the United States and Canada, there's 700, over 750 farms currently certified, and that's farms, you can be beekeepers, uh, they can do, if you grow mushrooms or aquaponics. The one question we get frequently, or we've seen, is hydroponics. So CNG does not currently certify hydroponic growers, mainly because they have to use a lot of synthetic fertilizers in the water to help grow, which is one of the reasons we also uh, drop, like drifted towards soil. And then CNG, has three requirements basically you have to do a yearly kind of sign a document stating that you're growing organically you're adhering to all of the different rules they have you pay your dues which can be a one-time hit or monthly and then you also have to be inspected by a farm and then as he mentioned you also have to be willing to go inspect a farm now if you're a little more remote like for us actually surprisingly it was we didn't have a ton of options around us uh, yeah. there are only a few yeah. And so we luckily got someone who was willing to drive actually like an hour to come inspect us. But just understand that you might have to drive a distance or might have someone coming, you know, from a bit of a way. But basically they came in. It's uh, I don't even remember how many sheets it is, but it's a huge form. The person goes through. They look at everything you're using. Where's your water coming from? Uh, where's your soil coming from? Making sure it's all organic, right? You're not using synthetic fertilizers. Uh, we got a question on actually cleaning the trays recently and you are allowed to use like cleaning stuff, right? Cause it's not actually coming in contact with the greens. And then they want to make sure, you know, just that everything you're using, like for us is pretty simple cause there's very few inputs, but if you are going to be, you know, doing anything outside, like out on the fields, any kind of like rotation of crops and stuff also need to be organic if you're kind of doing like a regenerative agriculture approach to things. So it's definitely a very in-depth process and there's a lot of information out there. If you go to their website and check it out, they have tons of stickers and FAQs and stuff that you can read and they have like really neat little marketing uh, tabs, but definitely give them a, like, check out their website if you get a chance because the information on there, I was surprised at how in depth I think they really went on some of these farms. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's a cool it's a cool little organization they got going on, and we're always down to to support mm -hmm. that type of organization all day every day. Now, obviously, when you go into looking into organic certifications, 
like Alex and I said, right, when you're starting off, it's very difficult to try and cough up a couple thousand for an organic certification, especially if you don't know if you're going to be taking in profit in the first couple months, right? Um, so it's it's very important to keep your costs low and CNG is one of them. Now, obviously, in the future, if you start to scale up and you can afford something like USDA organic certification, then obviously go for it because there are certain avenues that require stuff like that, like going into Whole Foods or something. They require USDA organic certification. There is a uh, Farm Fresh Carolinas that we're partnered with. Lisa over there, her and her team actually require USDA organic certification also, but because we had explained our situation, she did take our uh, CNG certification, which is cool. And there's other farmers markets out there also. And if you wanna try and separate and distinguish yourselves from other small farms out there, having that logo, that CNG certification logo is a nice little addition out there. So people are always cautious. They're more mm -hmm. mindful about where their food is coming from now. And when we're at the farmer's market, it's always a, a selling point when we say that we are cng certified and everyone tends to have a very positive reaction when we say that yeah. so it's definitely a beneficial tool to have if you are looking to grow um like a small farm yeah and cng lists on their website that i think a little over eight percent of the producers are both cng and usda organic certified you know it really comes down to money and cost like you just have to weigh whether or not it's worth the investment for you like what's your end goal if you're mainly selling to farmers markets and local you know a local community i you know you have to just weigh that cost for us it really has not made sense right yeah your mileage may vary right whatever's working for us might right. be different from you guys you Absolutely. might you guys might want to start a warehouse of microgreens and you can afford the usa certification for us at the time it just didn't make sense yep. alex and i might continue to explode and grow and we may be usda certif certified but for now it, it doesn't make sense yep hey guys we hope you enjoyed that video if you have any questions or comments drop them below we're also going to include some more information on the cng certification in the description yep and obviously if you guys haven't already please hit that like and subscribe button as it does help the youtube algorithm find our videos and it looks like a lot of you guys are starting to find our videos because we're getting a lot more questions about business related things and that's why here we are answering a lot of more business related questions because a lot of you guys are starting to ask about certifications about listeria testing and stuff like that so we're, we're obviously getting a lot of feedback from you guys and the only reason we get feedback is because you guys are leaving comments and questions so if you haven't already like i said just hit that like and subscribe button and we will catch you guys next time